This video will demonstrate how to remove and install the cabin window panel, cabin lower sidewall panel, and passenger table close-up panel in the passenger compartment on the Super King Air 350i. These instructions are applicable to serial numbers FL601, FL672, FL688, and later FL serial numbers with the VIP interior and cabin management system installed. These procedures can be found in Chapter 25 of the Super King Air model B300 B300C airplane maintenance manual. The cabin window panel, lower sidewall panel, and passenger table close-up panel can all be removed and installed independently from each other. As a precaution, ensure that the tail stand is in place and that the power is shut off to the cabin before beginning to remove any of the interior panels. Cabin window panel removal. Due to the size of the cabin window panels, removal is best performed with two technicians in order to minimize the possibility of injury to personnel and damage to other interior furnishings. The removal procedures for the left and right window panels are identical. Gain access to the passenger cabin. You may find it helpful to remove the aft left cabin partition and cabin door aft handrail cable to allow for more clearance when maneuvering the cabin window panels. Perform the cabin headliner closeout panel and cabin headliner removal procedures before beginning to remove the window panels. Please see the B300 cabin headliner panel removal video for reference. Once the cabin headliner panel is removed, the hardware securing the cabin window panels to the stringers will be visible. Remove the 14 screws and washers at the top of each window panel. Next, slide the window panel upwards and inboard from behind the arm cap. Care must be taken not to scratch the window when removing the cabin window panel. Finally, remove the cabin window panel from the airplane. Cabin Lower Panel Sidewall Removal Before beginning to remove the lower sidewall panels, Remove all equipment and furnishings required to gain access to the lower sidewall panels. Carefully pull the bottom of the lower sidewall panel inboard to release the two grabber latches. Next, carefully pull the top of the lower sidewall panel downwards and outboard to release the lower sidewall panel upper flange from the groove under the arm cap assembly. Remove the lower sidewall panel from the airplane. Passenger Table Closeout Panel Removal Carefully pull the bottom of the table closeout panel inboard to release the two grabber latches. Open the table lid and disengage the table closeout panel upper flange from the groove under the arm cap assembly. Cabin window panel installation. As a precaution, ensure that the tail stand is in place and that the power is shut off to the cabin before beginning to install any of the interior panels. Due to the size of the cabin window panels, installation is best performed with two technicians in order to minimize the possibility of injury to personnel and damage to other interior furnishings. Gain access to the passenger cabin. You may find it helpful to remove the aft left cabin partition and the cabin door aft handrail cable to allow for more clearance when maneuvering the cabin window panels. Position the window panel in the passenger cabin. Slide the bottom of the window panel behind the arm cap. If the space between the arm cap is too tight, loosen the screws on the arm cap then slide the panel in place. Align the screw holes at the top of the panel. Tighten the screws securing the arm cap if previously loosened. Finally, install the 14 screws and washers to secure the top of the window panel. Cabin Lower Sidewall Panel Installation before installing the lower sidewall panel, ensure that the arm cap has a groove or gap between the laminate top and bracket that is large enough to accommodate the top of the sidewall panel. If the gap is not sufficient, loosen the screws securing the laminate material to the support bracket, slide the laminate material slightly inboard, and retighten the screws. Carefully push the bottom of the lower sidewall panel outboard until the two grabber latches engage. Finally, verify that the sidewall panel is secure in place.
Passenger table close up panel installation. Open the table lid and install the table close out panel upper flange in the groove under the arm cap assembly. Carefully push the bottom of the table close up panel outboard until the two grabber latches engage. Close the table lid and swivel the two passenger seats into position if swivel chairs are installed. Verify that the close up panel is secure in place. Finally, the aft left partition, cabin headliner panel, and any other items removed for accessibility may be reinstalled in the airplane. <laughs> the power to the interior of the airplane can now be restored unless other maintenance is underway. At this time, perform all associated maintenance operation checks per the B300 B300C airplane maintenance manual for return to service. I hope you found this video to be helpful. For further information, please call Textron Aviation Team Turboprop Technical Support at 316-676-3140 or 1-800-429-5372. Team Turboprop can also be reached via email at kingair underscore support at txtav.com.